So believe it or not, what I'm doing, or what I've been doing off stream is unwrapping this guy. Uh, if you guys, do you guys just want to chat and I'll be in ZBrush or should I, what should I do? <laughs> Cause I don't know today. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys uh, the way I, the way I want to do critiques. So uh, where are we at here? So we got the Discord, right? We've got the Stream Critiques channel. So what will happen is you won't see this uh, Stream Critiques channel until it's open. So what I do is I'd edit the channel, and make it visible. Me and my glass jars, dude. I love my glass jars. Um, so this channel wouldn't be visible uh, the day I would stream. So for example, today, when I wake up in the morning, what I would do is make this channel visible and writable. So you guys can put anything you want in there as far as getting critiques on it. Uh, at some point during the day, I'll probably skim through it and I will delete any messages that have nothing to do with uh, posting art for a critique. So try not to have discussions in there. That's where the art related channel comes in. Anything you post in stream critiques, you can totally double post it in art related. The stream stream critiques channel is just for me to be able to access your guys' stuff easier. Uh, there you go. So near the end of the day, heading closer to the, ex the stream time, the extreme stream time, almost said that. Um, I'll close the channel. There'll be a message that says that the channel's locked now. Uh, I can usually get to about 20 crits in an hour. And I, I put an hour to the side for critiquing you guys. So if there's around 20 in here or it starts to pass 20, I'm going to lock it if it locks early or whatnot. Um, it'll still be visible to you guys, but you won't be able to post in it anymore. I'll critique everything that's in there as long as it fits within the hour in the order that they were posted. So the earliest people to post will get, I'll get to first. And then uh, I will leave the channel locked but visible for a day. And then the next day I will wipe it clear just to help make sure that you guys know that this is just for stream critiques and then that you should be using art related to actually post uh, work in progress stuff that isn't necessarily to be critiqued by myself. Hopefully that's that's a lot of like blah 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 blah. So hopefully that's that's clear. See, so I was doing some tests earlier. I have a command. I won't use it on stream, but I have a command that purges this all the chat and it just gets wiped. So that'll that'll happen occasionally. Whew. All the words. Anywho, let's uh, let's let's get into let's let's chill in ZBrush. I guess we can do that. I'm going to save this as the low poly. So I've decimated this one down. I would say uh, as long as you're not going ridiculously crazy with the geometry, it's totally fine to do this. There's going to be certain cases where it doesn't work out that well, but it's worth a try. Uh, there's no such thing as uh, well. There is a such there is such thing as bad practice, but um, decimation more often than not is not used because ZBrush is actually not used by environment artists as much as you guys would think. Um, but it is an option, and in in a lot of cases, it's useful. I mean, the fact that I could build this out and sculpt it and all that, and then, like, this is the, where are we at here? Oh, yeah, this is the merge one. Okay. Uh, I've sculpted it all out, and then, after the fact, uh, went, went through and decimated pieces. Like, for example, this is, uh, this is all the high res, right? And then I just, I have all my decimation stuff up here now. So like, let's, uh, let's isolate this one. So if you look at the wire on this, we'll pre-process it. 
I don't know if this is going to eat up stream frame rate or whatnot. What are you talking about, D-Red and ZBrush? <laughs> what? Is it a fan kit? What is this? Uh, and then I usually, um, so I pre-process it. If you're curious where that's at in Decimation Master, pre-process current. And I usually decimate current by like a pretty drastic amount. Let's do like 1%. So that that gets you a pretty good, pretty good start. Obviously, these bevels are pretty high poly still. So we'll we'll pre-process it again, and then let's try two percent. Oops, I just hit Dynamesh. Hang on here. There we go. Decimate. No, I need to pre-process it again. So that's too low. So let's go up to like four. Four is probably pretty good. I'm maintaining a lot of the silhouette. There's there are a few points. Um, if we go up to five, you're not really getting too much back. There's a little bit back there, but at the cost of some some polys. So I, w I feel like this is pretty good. And you can see too that the uh, in this back corner here, you're getting some extra bevelly looking stuff. Uh, let's actually. Let's go in here and I'll make a new scene. And let's just go see it over. Oh shit. For some reason when it, go, it comes in from uh, ZBrush, it's, it's smoothed. So just kill that. But uh, all I do is I go into these little corners where it's pretty nasty and just grab all these edges, <laughs> like straight up delete it. <laughs> And just like look at this corner and be like, oh man, that's disgusting. Just clean that up. Let's let's look down here. What's happening down here? So th this actually looks like it's a corner, so I'm gonna reconnect those and then I'll get rid of these ones. So this is kind of how I, I clean up my meshes these days. So now I've got this face, this, this, this one. See this, this gets kind of nasty over here. I let's see what we do about this. So then I select these big faces and shift T to triangulate them again. And then uh, I run some normal smoothing on there to try and like harden the edges. And then uh, if I press, I've hotkeyed this. So this selects hard edges. And I just start isolating stuff. So sometimes I'll just soften the whole thing. And then start, um, like for example, this this area here, I need it to be one island. So I just marquee select that whole spot here. Oops, let's try this again. There we go, like that. And then I'll just deselect some of the areas that I think are kind of erroneous selection. So and then harden that, and uh, let's let's grab this face. So this is kind of how this is how I unwrap stuff now. Um, we'll grab all of these. Oops. Oh, I just noticed this one here. So see if I do that, I can see where the this edge is. I think this actually needs to be included like that. And then where you get the overlap, I just go back and soften those. I probably need to hotkey the uh, soften and harden. It's okay though. This is just an example. Hey, what's up 404, how you doing? Remember, these are these are end gone, so you gotta triangulate these guys. So then, what I'll do is I'll I'll tap the uh, F2 key and start looking at where uh, where I'm not separating pieces out. Like 
that. Oh wow, this is a weird area. Cool, cool. Let's uh, let's do that. So I'm just gonna quickly unwrap this so I can show you guys the process that I go through. So I'm trying to just isolate some areas. Whoops. So then I'll do a little test uh, test run on this. So if I do that and then I'm in my EVs, move this out of the way here. So if I've got this, all, all my edges selected, I just unwrap by the edge selection and then do a check on all these pieces, make sure there's nothing weird. Like these guys are kind of floating out here. So I got to see where, so this guy can probably be included in the top piece. So I'm just going to soften that edge and harden that edge. And then these guys, I'm just going to connect them. So that's that's one little island there. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Uh, and then I run the unwrap tool again. Select all these guys. Well, if you don't select anything in Moto, you select everything. I'm doing good, man. Just trying to catch up. Uh, I didn't stream yesterday because I had a headache. It's pretty gnarly. Um, so then I do a orientate and the auto orientation oh these guys are connected somewhere they're connected here there we go split that bad boy okay let's select it all unwrap tool oops click uh, orientation are these no those are good a uh, little bit of a UV relax. I keep trying to rename my assets for some reason. And then uh, pack UVs, 10%, no stretching. And there's there's some basic UVs for that for this guy. So this is technically unwrapped uh, with all of its little creases and details. I mean, actually, uh, is this interesting to you guys? I don't know. Uh, I'll just OBJ. Sure. Dinner time. No problem, man. Enjoy your dinner. Later, dude. So I'll just save this out as a test. For some reason, when you save out a mesh, it goes to another thing. I don't know why. Uh, let's undo some of this. Um, and then, did I close Substance Painter? I did. Uh, why are generally most of the environment artists, I wouldn't say most, a lot of, it's getting a lot of attention, attention right now. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I use it because it makes sense to me how how it manages geometry. I can show some examples after that, after I after I do this stuff. Um, wall stack. So let's test high poly. All right. So we'll do this guy. Hit OK. Here's our here's our mesh with its creased normals where I wanted them, and then let's do a bake textures and then we will point to the high poly and usually I run this pretty low res at first just to run a check on stuff make sure things are okay what's the crash ratio like for moto 
Um, it's pretty low, man. It's <laughs> one to one. It's pretty low. Uh, it maybe crashes for me once every two days, once every three days. Sometimes, like depending on if I'm doing something particular, sometimes I can get it to start uh, repo crashing. So I can reproduce the crash and it just keeps going. And then if I move the geometry into a different folder, usually, or, or a different file, it's, it's fixed. All right, so we got our bake. It's not bad. There's some seams. But they're, they're, I mean, they're pretty subtle. It's all good. When it comes down to it, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Uh, and then you just apply, apply materials to it. Let's see if we can find like a temple. I think I have a updated temple stone. It's a PC stone tower. <laughs> All right, and then we got the, what is that, that moss? The moss is acting funny. It's probably tiling, strangely. Let's see here. No, it's the mask. Okay, so put that back up to four. Click this guy. It's this mask, whatever's going on here. Oh, now the moss is tiling too much. I mean, sure. I don't know. I don't know. Archaic PC tower. All right. So let me read chat here for a second. What's up? Test one nine 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 nine. Yeah, I'm counting it. I said the right nine account. Um, how did you change the background from the UV window? What? This guy, huh? What's up, Lorg? How you doing, man? Loving the colors on it. Oh, man. It's a little... What's this one look like? Dude, the new moss that I'm, I'm playing with is, is kind of cool because I made it through... Uh, oh, man, this one's all types of jankified. I made it in ZBrush with um, their first stuff. Oh, this one's cool just because it's dripping and it's got drip patterns in it and stuff. But yeah, that's that's how I that's like my process currently for sculpting uh, and building low polys from from these meshes. So you think. I just did all that with that one piece and I'm essentially doing it with all of this guy. So if I press F2, you can see if they're, uh, if they're this color, I've, I've completed them. And then the other ones, I'm just kind of, uh, I'm going through the process now. So if I do this, this over here, this guy needs to be smaller. I can't make him smaller. Hmm. I have to edit the thing on that. But uh, yeah, if I press F2, you can see where it's, it's like breaking down right now and I need to go in and fix all these these edges so that they crease where I expect them to. Tired. Get get out of town, man. Energy drinks, caffeine. Well, I know you don't do energy drinks. Caffeine it. Get some rest, drink some water, go for a run, some push-ups, man. I know you. Push-ups. You're currently drinking a Red Bull? What? You've changed. <laughs> Anywho, let's, uh, I guess we can just chill in, in ZBrush for a little while. Uh, I can bring in another piece. Uh, we'll be in there for maybe like 10 minutes and then I will do some critiques on your guys' stuff. 
So the next, oh yeah, some IV tests. Uh, the next piece I need to work on is probably B. This is the B piece. The other funny thing is this B piece, I don't know how much I actually need to do on it. Because if you look at the model, if I go into ZBrush, let's go here to this. And then we'll go back here and we'll go see that over. Let's see if this works. Oh shit, there's some weird triangulation shit going on, but it's all good. Actually, let me see why that is happening. It's probably because this needs to be triangulated. Let's try that again. Fix a Rooney. Okay, so this guy and this guy have some similar pieces, like this bottom piece here. Um, these side pieces. So what I would actually do is start grabbing, let's copy this one, go here, paste. Whoa. Um, why, ah, dude, I forgot how this, is it the pin? Whoa. I'm still getting used to this, this tool. So see, I can just kind of resize stuff too if I need to. We'll rotate this, something like that. It's close. See, and then we would just we would isolate this piece, and then uh, I would actually do some some other damage to it to break it up from the other pieces. But we can worry about that later. We need to go into this and maybe grab like this piece. Man, I need to hotkey the copy. Go here. Paste. Finally, new move tool. I know, right? Dude, what the hell? Sticky mode? Do you guys know why it's not... Uh centered on this guy I I have no idea like why is this down here that's gonna bug the crap out of me there we go so alt alt move on that oh man that's nice so let's uh, let's do actually let's so if we move that into place there you see it's too tall, right? So we just move this down to here, squish it down, move this to here. We'll maintain those details. Oops. We'll just squish that. And you can, if you look at the uh, topology on this too, it's it's probably pretty gross. We'll look at what's going on here. Oh, it's not uh, squished enough in this range. Is it not? Wait, what? Oh, I see. I see what's going on. Let's do that, and then we'll this over here whoa 
Whoa, still getting used to this. So see, I'm just stretching the geometry around. <laughs> Pretty gross, right? Trying to th think here. Let's see what this looks like. I feel like the bind here, because I can't see what's going on, is all types of jacked. Yeah, oh god. We need to be able to move those more predictable, in a more predictable way. That's a bit better. So that's all types of jacked up, but that's all good. Uh, let me see here. So once you get used to moving stuff around like that, it's, this will become much uh, better looking. Uh, and then we'll just, um, let's just Dynamesh that. Oh man, that's gross. This thing in the middle here. Not sure about that. Oh, and there's all types of skewing. Hmm. Like this way works, I swear. Oops. Oh yeah, that's another thing. If you hold down control and then move, you can do do pieces out. So if you need to do something like that. Some of the other nice stuff too. Uh, let's reset the Oh man, yeah, I still need to get used to this. Because you, you can do all types of weird stuff. See, now it's back down there. Hmm. Oh, that's going to take some getting used to. Uh, I've tried Z Modeler a little bit. I'm not really. I mean, maybe it's just because I'm not fast at it right now, but I'm definitely not comfortable, not comfortable in that at all. <laughs> it's all good though. It's all good. Uh, it is 8.23. Let's, uh, I think I'm going to switch over to the critique stuff. I'm going to have to start doing critiques only on Fridays. That way I can actually have time to, to try and build some stuff for you guys just so we can run through some problems, troubleshooting and all that. Is that, what do you guys think about that type of stuff uh, versus like uh, critiques each stream, critiques on Fridays? Just putting that out there. Because we've only got, uh, we only got 40 or 37 minutes. Man, this, this pivot's a game changer though. This uh, gizmo tool. You want to see me make stuff? Friday review day. Lord, we need to talk out of the stream too, man. I want to know more. I want to know more. All right. Hola, sweet empire. What's up? What's up, Bob? All right, I'll be right back, and then we'll look at your guys' stuff.